Hello everyone and welcome to a new Tenerife travel day. We are here at Gatwick Airport today. Uh, so we are flying out of London Gatwick. We're going from the North Terminal yeah. with EasyJet. So we're going to show you the whole process. We've never flown from the North Terminal here. We did the South Terminal last time. This we absolutely loved it. Yeah, that one had the Nando's and everything. This one doesn't have Nando's, it's got some other things in. So it's a new terminal we've never been through before. It's currently very miserable here in the UK. It's very cold, it's gray, it's rainy. It's, uh, it's like five degrees, but where we're heading is sunny. It's like 25 degrees. So we're gonna bring you that bit of sunshine. Full Tenerife travel day. Uh, we've got no luggage with us, just hand luggage today. So we've obviously paid to have our bags on board with us. Uh, we've got our safe seats as well. Yeah, let's see exactly what Gatwick North Air, uh, Air Terminal is like. The south was brilliant. I was impressed by that. And a nice smooth run to here. With the drop zone, you do pay uh, online with your registration. Or you can go to, there's a section where you can pay with cash. Uh, but we've just been dropped off. Uh, thanks very much to our uh, friends who've dropped us off. And uh, yeah, you just pay online with your registration number. Don't forget to do that. I think you've got 24 hours to uh, pay it. So are you ready to head in? Get warm? Ready to get warm. Right, oh my let's, God. Uh, it is freezing. let's make our way inside and see how busy security is. So if you are new to the channel, uh, I'm Andrew and I'm here with Laura as well. We do live in Tenerife, so we are actually returning home for us. A lot of you will be watching, excited about your upcoming holiday, but uh, we do actually live uh, over in Tenerife, so we're returning home. We've had a nice little break here in the UK. Right. Check-in and departures level two. See, now this is where we start to find out what's going on. It might be up again, I think. We'll uh, double check and find out. Lifts to level two, check-in and bag drop, departures. So yeah, I think we've got to go up again. Yeah. Up we go. So yeah, we're returning home. But for a lot of you, you'll be excited, looking forward to getting some sunshine, a bit of warmth, thinking of those beaches and all of that. And of those cocktails, those nice long walks along the promenades. Yeah. Yeah. That all of that good Tenerife, Tenerife good stuff. But for us, we are back home, back to work. Right. We're finding our way. We're getting there. There you go, Starbucks. I hope there's one through the other side. I like to just get through security, get it all done, and then you can relax the other side then. Especially when you're in a new airport, you don't know. Always good to give yourself a little extra 20 minutes, half an hour, just because you don't know exactly where you're going, what's happening. Once you've been through once, you're fine, but for us, this is still, so we're gonna go off to the right because we don't need to drop any bags. And yeah, always good to give yourself a little bit of extra time. It does look quite busy in there, I will say as well. So just come inside, you've got a nice little pub diner there if you want to have a little uh, drink and a bite to eat with friends, etc. before you go through. Yeah, we're going to go straight to departures through security in a minute, so we can't obviously film through there. But yeah, dead easy that, up the escalators, straight in. Security doesn't look too bad. We'll uh, make our way through. So good thing is we did need an extra little uh, plastic bag. Now normally in Manchester or Liverpool you have to buy these, they're free yeah. here. So just going to put all our liquids away. And uh, then we'll be straight through. We did buy some extra little bits for people and creams and stuff like that. Pick some stuff up. So yeah, nice to have them free. Pick as many as you want. Job done. So just to note with the liquids, obviously you can't have anything over 100 milliliters. And do bear in mind, you are only allowed one plastic bag per person. So although they're free, maybe you can take an extra spare one. You've got to be able to close it and zip it completely, yeah. which we've not quite got to work that out and uh, you're only allowed one bag per person, so do bear that in mind. Hopefully that and is all soon changing, because we are getting those new scanners very soon. Right, let's get ourselves through, and we can relax the other side then. Okay, so security all done, that was nice and easy. Just make sure you take anything bigger than uh, tablets, laptops, etc. out, but any small electricals were fine. Have a little wander through Juicy Free here, see if anything jumps out at us, price-wise. Take a wander through. Yeah, that was nice and easy, very organized as well. Stick to the rules and you'll fly through, no problem. Just make sure you do everything you need to do. Belts off, etc. Right. Oh, very Christmassy as well. Got the birthday cake Baileys going on. 
Let's see if there's anything else they've got. Strawberries and cream, salted caramel. Nice. Yeah, we've got that in the bar. Nice. Well, it is a massive duty free. Let's have a little look. 13 quid for a bottle of Bacardi. Tankery, 14.99. And uh, we've got Smirnoff vodka, 12.29. But then in Tenerife, it is still very, very cheap. So I think if you're going over to Tenerife, I wouldn't really bother too much buying this. They've got all this in all the shops in Tenerife for probably a little bit less. Plus, I'm going to lug it round and risk breaking it in your luggage and all of that. Risk it all leaking and stuff. Yeah, it's quite a big uh, duty free. You've got all the usual stuff in here. If you've been through a duty free before. And then some extra little bits for Christmas. A few boxes of uh, lint and lindors and little bits going on and the uh, M&M's we've got plenty of goodies in our bags normally like to try and uh, get it all out of the airport this stuff save a fortune B&M is uh, way cheaper for all your chocolates and stuff for the plane all right let's make our way out see if we can grab a little coffee somewhere a little Starbucks maybe a bite to eat and we'll see and show you what uh, restaurants and stuff are available in here. I can already see Starbucks, there you go. We've got a Shake Shack, we've got uh, Wagamamas as well. Do you like a Waggers? JD Sports. Yeah, it's, it's very similar layout to uh, the South Terminal in my opinion. We've even got Hugo Boss, we've got tortillas and tacos and burritos and stuff up there. Looks like they're doing a little bit of work in here as well, it's pretty big. Compared to Manchester, Liverpool, where we normally fly from, so it's pretty big. So before we do anything or go anywhere, we're thinking maybe a Wagamama's. We're just going to double check the board. I don't think our flight will be on here yet, but it's always just good to double check. There's no delays or anything. Uh, so there's our 1340 Tenerife. And it just says gate info at 12.50. So in an hour and 10 minutes, we'll get our gate information. So plenty of time to enjoy a little Wagamama's, I think. We'll have a proper bank to eat does sometimes stress me out eating a proper meal in the airport and only just like to have a little snack but we'll give this a go see if I can relax since we've got so much time we've even got Harrods we didn't manage to make it in, into uh, Harrods when we were around London it's a very very small version isn't it of the uh, of the main shop right let's go and grab a bite So we've just come upstairs, we've got a Pret. I can also see one of my favourite shops as well. Krispy Kreme, I do love a Krispy Kreme donut. Coffees are quite decent in Krispy Kreme as well, or Krispy Kreme, however you like to say it. You've got Breakfast Club, Pure as well. But uh, Wagamama's that we're gonna aim for. Laura is gluten-free, so they do have a few gluten-free options in there that Laura can have. But yeah, I love these. These are too dangerous for me. Oh. Well, I might have to get one for the plane in a minute. A little chocolate filled, uh, custard filled chocolate one I like the most. Or just a chocolate ring. Plenty of easy jet flights on that board. Right, waggers. Here we go. Okay, well, here we are then. Literally, only 20 minutes after being dropped off, we're now sat in Wagamama's in front of the menus, ready to order. Uh, looking forward to this, got a nice view out there. It is a little bit uh, foggy today. Out there, you can see all of the planes and stuff as well. So you get a little bit of a view. That's good stuff. I'm gonna go for my usual, which is a katsu curry, is what I normally like to go for in here. Okay, here we go then. So here is my katsu curry. I did also order some chicken yakitori. One thing you've got to bear in mind, with that Wagamama's is it does all just come out when it comes out there's no real like starters or it, it just comes out when it's ready which in some ways is good it's fresh I would have preferred to have the chicken yakitori first but I'm gonna delve in Laura's isn't here yet either so that's one thing to bear in mind they do always say that it just comes out when it comes out yeah so not two seconds later his yakitori has arrived that looks absolutely amazing and um, how is your curry 
Nice. Yeah, you'll have to give these a try now as well. They look stunning. Yeah, they look really good. Oh, mine's arrived now. Just look at that. It looks absolutely amazing and it tastes amazing as well. And it doesn't feel so heavy on you, even though it's got cocoa cream in it. It just tastes absolutely stunning. I would always suggest trying this. Whether you've got allergies or not, it is absolutely gorgeous. And how is yours going down? Yeah, the chicken's gone. Nice, that. Uh. Yeah, you're enjoying that? The chicken looks absolutely amazing just in that. Stuff. Yeah. It's a bit of simple, really. Yeah. Boiled rice, it's like chippy curry, isn't it? It's fits the spot, it's job done, job done. Okay, well, Wagamama's all done. It was 49 quid, I think. A couple of drinks, nice and fast chilled in there nice place to sit i'm gonna pop the toilet and also go downstairs and then grab a couple of drinks for the plane i think our toilets are right there perfect i'm gonna head down well one quick stop before we go to w8 smith's and that is to get crispy cream definitely gonna go for one of them i think they all look amazing though Got all the different christmas elf ones and stuff tremendous that looks good that's minty chocolate dream cake oh, I could try them all I could work my way through them all and get big boxes like that 20 quid ah nice I'm gonna get one for the plane I think so there's a big W8 Smith just gonna grab a little drink for the plane just so I'm prepared I like to have a couple of bottles maybe a little uh, chocolate bar as well to go with the Krispy Kreme and then our gate will be on the screen uh, by the time we've done this got five minutes till the gates release so we've timed everything really well if you do want to have a bit of a sit down dinner i do definitely think you need to be here 20 minutes half an hour early let's have a look sure we got all the paddington stuff here right. shortbread biscuits salted caramel they look good don't they chocolate with orange milk chocolate and salted caramel how much is that it doesn't say does it is it three for two no that's the plush penguin it says Oh, mix and match, three for two. It's only a fiver. It's cheap, that. It's only a fiver, I'm not sure about that. So you've got a real good mix of restaurants, shops, all kinds going on, kids' shops, Lego. Uh, you've got your standard shops, Super Dry, Whitard, never heard of them. They look like uh, candles and stuff like that. Tea, is it, looks like. Tea and coffee, maybe. And then all your usual stuff as well, boots, etc. So yeah, very well stocked. Do like it in here. Doing a little bit of work in the middle. Yeah, overall, nice, clean, busy, but doesn't feel like mayhem. So a couple of minutes, then we'll get our gate and we'll uh, head straight there. And I'm just having a last little quick look around. Bit of a stretch of the legs. Get your flip-flops for your Tenerife trip in the middle. That's nice, that. and you've got weather spoons as well at the end there, which, as you can imagine, is uh, very busy. Breakfast just finishing, really. Plenty of people in there. What do you think, Laura? Nice. Good? It's good, loads of shops, loads. Even though it's busy, there's loads going on, isn't there? There's a good variation as well. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely everything you want. You can kill a lot of time just mooching about. Little last-minute look at boots, then off you go. Got a little view as we head to uh, gate 569 we are uh, located at, which was convenient because it wasn't far from uh, where we were. Got a few free newspapers there as well if you want them. But yeah, it wasn't far from where we just were in boots, so convenient that was. 569, God, the amount of gates this airport must have is insane. That could be us down there on the Neo. So here we are then at our gate area. It was, uh, it was our plane, which is the Neo, which would be nice. Ooh, nice. Newish plane, unlike these seats. <laughs> I'll show you a little view out the window. It's got all little charge stations and everything down here at the gate, which is handy. Yeah, there's our bed just there. Yeah, it's nice and organized, nice and uh, civilized as well. Red phone box, gonna miss those. All right, so we'll catch you then when we're boarding. Off to sunnier climates.
Now, what's the bar? Can you please find your allocated seat? Once you find your allocated seat, we kindly ask you to step out the aisle to let other passengers to board. Please only place large pre packaged cabin bags in the overhead locker. Smaller bags and other items such as rucksacks, duty free, coats, scarves, jackets need to be placed under the seat in front of you. by James, he's the senior first officer. Uh, we're just about ready to go here. We're just waiting for an engineer to come out uh, to the aircraft. It's a very minor issue with a bit of trim in the cabin that just needs an um, engineer to look at it and sign it off to say that we're okay to go. We're just waiting for them to come to the aircraft now and they uh, were basically parked in front of their office so it shouldn't take too long and um, as soon as that's sorted we'll be ready to get on our way. Taxiing out to the uh, westerly facing runway here at Gatwick. Uh, taking off um, out towards Southampton initially across the channel, climbing up to our cruising altitude 33,000 feet. The flight time today is uh, 3 hours and 55 minutes. James is doing the flying, so I'm sure he'll do his best to keep you updated on our progress as we make our way down to Tenerife. Uh, at the moment, the weather down there is a little bit breezy, but a temperature in the low 20s expected on our arrival. As you boarded the aircraft, you met the rest of our team. They're led by your cabin manager, Paige. They're all here primarily for your safety, and for that reason, I would please ask that you give them the courtesy of your full attention as they take you through the safety demonstration as we make our way out to the runway. As I say, flight time 3 hours 55 minutes, so we'll do our best to make up uh, any time lost uh, due to the weight of the engineer, and I'll keep you updated on that as well. Please to make yourselves comfortable, you're all welcome on board.
Okay, well, here we are then. We've just come through passport uh, control. Nice and easy, that was quick and easy. All the carousels ready to go. But we haven't got any baggage to pick up, so we are straight through the exit. This is a new little section, this. Uh, so we have to go up to uh, the arrivals and out the doors. Yeah, nice easy flight that was. Bit of commotion at the end. A few people kicking off and not happy. But uh, no, all good. Three hour 55 flight. Slight delay with that technical fault, but uh, that was resolved. And we've arrived pretty much on time, 10 past six. So we are now straight out to the car park uh, where I've got a couple of my rental cars waiting to be collected. So I'm tying that in with picking those up. Remember, if you do want to rent a car in Tenerife, sanasti.com. Uh, we've been going for over 40 years now. Long time, you can pick them up and collect them here at the airport. No big deposits and things like that. But yeah, it's nice to be back. I can feel that warmth already. Come through these doors and you can get hit by that nice warm breeze. It is a bit breezy. It's a little bit overcast. Oh, it's nice and warm though. It's, uh, it's not bitter cold anymore. If this was London now, you'd be freezing with this sort of wind. Oh, this is nice, nice and fresh. Very nice. And here we are then, Tenerife South. So you've got all the buses there. If you're getting a coach transfer, just about you've got an information center and next to that is uh, the public bus stop. So you can get the public bus uh, into the likes of Las Americas, Costa Adeki, Los Cristianos. You can jump on those green public buses uh, for about three euros 40 uh, to uh, Los Cristianos from here with your baggage and everything. Or just to, if you'd have carried on straight out of those doors, just to the right of the screen now is the taxi bank. That's where you can get a taxi. A taxi from here to Los Cristianos, about 25. To Las Americas, 30. To Costa Decky, maybe 35. Uh, roughly, just to give you an idea on taxi prices. But uh, it's good to be back. Palm trees, bit of blue sky. It is starting to go dark now. Yeah, those those public buses there. There's normally someone who can who stands there and helps you out as well if you are struggling with what bus to get on and things like that. But our bus service here is very good, Titsa. And then just over to the right, just there is your rent a car car park. That's where you got all the big companies. But uh, all your small local ones operate from this public car park over here, which is where we're heading to now. Which is where we've got a couple of our cars. Uh, to be collected where clients have returned them and we're going to go and pick them up which works out well for us but yeah you can walk across the street your car will be there waiting for you no queuing up at desks and all that you know what car it is in advance walk out into the car park find the car and then off you go all the paperwork is all done already oh good to be back laura good to be back i that i'm going straight into work oh, straight yeah. into work yeah we we do also have a bar over here, so Laura's going to be straight to Buddy's Bar in Los Cristianos. Straight to uh, straight to work. Well, it's good to be back. Most of you will just be uh, looking forward to getting to your hotels and things like that. For us, it's a little bit different returning home. So we'll catch you in just a minute. Okay, so it is a little bit later now, half past seven. Just uh, got home. Unpacked a little bit, just had a quick shower, got changed. And now we're down at the bar to see what's happening. Laura's gone straight into work, Buddy's bar. So I'm going to pop in. It looks like it's quite busy already there. So we'll uh, pop in, see what's going on, have a little drink, and then uh, head back home, I think, and unpack. Most of you now would be uh, getting to your hotels, etc., getting all unpacked and all of that exciting stuff, finding your room, etc., etc. But uh, for us, as I mentioned, it's uh, back to work for us. So let's uh, head on in, say hello to some people. See what's going on and uh, grab a drink. Okay, well, I've just found Laura downstairs here in the stock room doing little bits and bobs. What have you got there then? So, my supplier brought me a gift, and this is one of them a Christmas globe a gin. Look at that. A little gold snowflake, little up. gold flakes yeah, so in there. Yes, the flavour is nice. Spiced orange and cranberry gin. I mean, that's, that's a decoration there. I know, you're not going to want to drink that, are you? No, I'm not. That's getting, that's getting kept. Nice little gift, sorting out the stock room here, which is fully loaded, I see. Yeah, fully stocked up in here. Fully yeah, we're doing well. Ooh, working hard. They also Good got stuff. a box of chocolates. Well, we and a big bottle of vodka. Drinks have been flying so much, you've actually have to increase the uh, the orders and yeah. the uh, the stock take, so. We're doing 
Well. All right, all good. I'm going to pop upstairs and order a drink, I think. Nice. And yeah. then... Uh, I'm just organising down here. Yeah. Doing some bits and bobs. Yeah, lots of, lots of, always lots to do. Yeah. Yeah, always lots. But, yeah. Okay, so Jose is making me off a very special Midori based cocktail here. What have we got going on? Midori de Serrano. Ah, secret, secret. Ah, okay, it's ah. a secret, okay. Alright, let's see what comes out here. I shouldn't really be drinking that at this hour. That's going to send me off my head, that is. Let's give it a go. Let's try it. Mmm, smelly, yeah. smelly. That does smell good, actually, to be fair. Okay, so we're gonna give this a go. This looks very nice. It does smell amazing. There's no name to it. It's just gonna be another Mount Strider special, I suppose. Let's give this a go. So I hear you've got a new cocktail. This, it, it, a, a tiny bit, I'm gonna try it properly now. Jose's just made me a special one. It's got Midori de Serrano, which is Ooh. both our favorites. It's got, a, it's got an energy drink in it. So I'm gonna be oh awake all night. Bit of vodka. Bit of everything. And it's nice. It's really nice, you know. Is it? So what do we call that? It's almost like, it, it's a bit like what it looks like. It's a bit colder flavoured. Oh my eye. It's really good. We can't taste the alcohol, so it's dangerous. Oh. Plus the energy drink. He said it's, he just calls it the oomph. The oomph. <laughs> That's what he was calling it. So guys, if you need an oomph when you're out drinking, ask for that. I want you to try it now. Let me film you try it. Go on, Laura, give it a try. I just want to come away out the music. It's nice, in it. It's like monster. It's nice, in it. It's like a like Coke monster. It's fit, in it. Oh, that's naughty. It, that could you could just down that, couldn't you? Yeah, that's amazing. That's it's nice, in it. <gasps> <laughs> I thought you'd like that. Oh no, that's nice. Fit, in it. Yeah, I know there's loads of alcohol in it as well. So he'll have to, he'll have to name me. We just call it the umph. Oh, <laughs> it's good, in it. Lovely. You can drink that all day. He said he, puts, that he put some stuff in it. I tried to film it. He was like, no, no, it's secret. That's nice, isn't it? You can't have too much of that. You'll be bouncing. You're working. Yeah. I can go home. I can walk home, bladdered. <laughs> Naughty, though. It's fit, isn't it? That's amazing. Oh, that's really, really nice, yeah. That, I think that you might have to add that. The oomph. Something like that. They used to call it the power or the oomph, he called it. Oh, right. nice. It's nice, though, isn't it? It is, it's a monster, isn't it? It's a monster, that's a monster. It is, it's quite a, close to the original monster flavour. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, oh, hey, you know I like my monster. Yeah, I know, that's literally oh, You monster. could call it the monster. Monster. Or well, the yeah. oomph. No, um, monster. The power. Power. Something like that. You knew exactly, he said, he said there's a version with energy drink and a version with Sprite. But he said the energy drink could. So, well, till I'm awake till four in the morning. Well, that is it for our travel day to Tenerife. I hope you did enjoy that. Uh, Laura's just doing the last few bits and work there. Enjoyed trying a, a couple of different little cocktails as well. One that we might add to the uh, menu there was that uh, energy drink based one. It was quite nice, that'd be like a monster. I did like that, so that might be on the menu. But uh, no, I really enjoyed that, I hope you did. Nice, smooth journey. Enjoyed London Gatwick again. Flown there from there twice now. Uh, both been on time even though we had that little bit of a technical glitch they made up for the time uh, with the shorter flight and uh, both times i've been to gatwick as well i've managed to have sort of like a sit down meal so to speak uh, which is quite nice before you get on the plane you're not too peckish so yeah london gatwick spot on dead clean as well i uh, did enjoy that but uh, for you lot you would now be out on the beers and uh, having a meal let me know in the comments what you would be doing first night you've just arrived you've checked in it's like eight, nine o'clock. Would you be straight to bed? Would you be in the bars? Would you be out for a meal? Would you be exploring the hotel? 
do let me know. But thank you very much for watching. Make sure you do subscribe. There is loads of videos on the channel regarding Tenerife. We do loads of videos here, live streams, everything like that. So if you're looking for stuff on Tenerife, it's all on the channel. There is thousands of videos on there and I'm here all the time making videos. So uh, do hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up and uh, stride on.